what's up guys so originally i was only going to be doing to the comebacks for g friend and b2b and then i was doing first listens with both of their mini albums but day six also decided to have a comeback today and i was like ah, i guess i can't skip it right <laughs> i mean i could like i could put it off for a little later in the week or something but eh. <laughs> might as well just do it today i'm trying to keep a, a relatively strict schedule so i'm just gonna try to not put things off as far as um, reactions and stuff. We'll see how well this works. <laughs> it's like my first day of doing it, so I don't know how well it's gonna end up. Anyway, but yeah, I didn't realize, because I was like, how is day six releasing something else? They just had another one. But then I read like an article somewhere that they're releasing something, like a song once a month. Is that correct? I don't know the whole story, but I think I read somewhere they're releasing like one song a month or something, so. I don't, yeah, I don't remember why. There was a reason. I had read the article, but it was a while ago, so I don't know. Anyway, let's just check this one out. I have no idea what it's called, actually. Um, <laughs> no, there's no, like, English translation. Oh, okay. How can I say is what it's called. I just, anyway. Anyway, anyway, let's get into it. Three, two, one, let's go. Where's my boy? The drummer's my boy. Who has to be the back day? This is probably the simplest symphony they've done so far. A slurry to stuff in their instruments with some editing in it. The other one told like a story, and then the first one was kind of had like kind of some kind of cool sets of backgrounds. But this one's literally just playing in their instruments. So I don't know if I would classify these as comebacks since they're releasing something every month. Like, what? Is it just a concept? <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> uh, no, I like Day Six a lot. Like they always, like all their songs they come out with are like just really good. Um, 
It's more like, yeah, they're just, they're, they're, they're kind of general in the sense that like they're good songs, but like, that's it. Uh, the last one I will say, what was the last one called? Shit. You were beautiful. Sorry. I had to quickly figure that out. You were beautiful. Honestly gave me feels. And I was like in love and like into that song. I feel like the fact they're releasing a song once a month is kind of like not wearing on me, like, but it's like the, the like specialness of their songs is like not as important. I don't really know what I'm saying, honestly. I like the song. The MV was cool. Or the, well, the MV wasn't much, but I like the song and the drummer's still hot. Like, that's pretty much it. I'm just saying, like, as far as like really getting a strong reaction out of me, it didn't, but that's not, it's really just because nothing else, nothing was really happening. And whereas, like, uh, their last song, you were beautiful. I got in it. Felt a lot more in that one, but I just think it's because like they're just supposed to be releasing songs. It's almost like they're releasing <laughs> one song for their album per month, maybe. Because then, because yeah, it would feel like a good album if I listened to all these at once in one album. But I don't really know how this is working. I, I totally forgot. I read the article because I think it was an article about how a lot of. K-pop entertainment companies are leaning more towards a band style as far as K-pop groups, like a actual band where they can play with instruments. Um, so I was reading about that and they mentioned Day6 and I think that's what they mentioned that they were releasing a song one song per month and I was like, oh, that's interesting, but I didn't look into it anymore. So I think that's why I'm a little just confused. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, come below, and you'll see me check out. I'll catch you guys.